So I first like to get what you first thought about, what first came to your mind when you first heard about this decision. Well, I, I saw it as a responsive position. Uh, because over, over, over time, over the years, we have clamored for the ease of monetary tightening. Because we felt in the business community that the challenges of growth was more imperative than even the challenges of stability. Uh, we know that for every monetary or economic policy action, there will be winners and there will be losers. There will be costs and there will be benefits. What is important is to weigh the costs and benefits to determine what should be the ultimate direction of policy. Mm -hmm. So we welcome the idea that at last the CBN is looking in the direction of stimulating growth. Okay, because but when we look at all the challenges we face in the economy, in terms of growth, in terms of poverty, unemployment, economic inclusion, and the rest, we know that the need for growth is very paramount. But would you say this is a, coming in a little too late? Well, it's, 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 it's late. I must say it's, it's late, but it's better late than never. At least it's a, it's a move in the right direction. Because for me, uh, it's not as if it will have any profound impact immediately. Uh, what, what, what it means for me is that it's a good signal. It's a signaling value that it offers. It's also symbolic mm -hmm. in the sense that, okay, you can see the central bank now looking more in the direction of stimulating growth, exactly. employment, economic diversification, and the rest of it. Okay, but how, but how much would, it, how would this affect banks and also lending to the real sector? Because the central bank has been trying to drive this for quite a while now. Yes, it should, at least. Uh, in theory, we expect that there should be a transmission of this to investors. Uh, at least, uh, the, we expect the banks to take a cue from the central bank that this is the direction where the central bank is going, and we expect that interest rates should begin to take a cue from that. But again, from what we know about the financial markets, uh, it may not be that easy yeah. unless there is any, unless there is a particular framework by the central bank to put some subtle pressure on the bank on the banks to make sure that they follow through with this policy direction. Because there are quite a number of issues around lending beyond just the monetary policy rates. Mm. You know, there are issues about the investment risk, for instance. Uh, for as long as the environment of risk is still high, either for the SMEs, for the real economy and all of that, the, the, the challenges of lending will still be there. And don't also forget that some of the critical monetary policy instruments are still in tightening mode. CRR is still at 22.5. Yeah, liquidity ratio is still at 30. And this are even have more profound effect on liquidity even than the NPR. You know, so it's, it's more of, of, of signaling thing, really. I don't, it may not have something very profound, but I mm -hmm. think between the CBN and the banks, I mean, if there could be some moral suasion and all of that, we could begin to see the transmission of the effect of this new uh, direction. direction on, on right businesses. Yeah. I'm also curious about the manufacturers, though. Well, how can they take advantage of this, new, this new direction the central market or this new signal in the central market is given? Well, I think what this manufacturer can do is to engage, to engage the banks. That okay, we now have this new direction. I mean, wh what can you do in terms of concession on credit? Because this is not just about new credit; it's also about existing credit portfolio that exists. Uh, the rates currently are very high. So what has happened now at least provides an opportunity for engagement, for negotiation, to see what the banks can do about bringing down uh, mm -hmm. the, 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 the interest rates for, 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 for okay. the manufacturers. Yeah. Okay, but for, so as you, for you, you engage a lot with the medium and, small, medium and small enterprises and for small businesses. You know, how best can they take advantage of this policy environment? Well, uh, well they, they can take advantage of it, uh, depending again on the banks. But again, I must caution that we need to manage expectations mm. about this new policy direction. Uh, I mean, we are talking of 50 basis points. Basis point, yeah. We are talking of CRR still remaining what it is. Liquidity ratio is still what it is. The totality of the business environment has not changed. Uh, the risk around SMEs are still there. You know, So all these variables are so very critical. So for even this to have a significant impact, the fiscal authorities must also bring something to the table. Because unless we deal with the issue of investment risk, especially around SMEs and around the real sector investments, uh, it may be difficult 
to get the full value from this kind of policy direction. So this brings to the fore again all this talk about you know, fiscal policy, monetary policy, complementarity. So that, I mean, both sides should bring something to the table mm -hmm. to ensure that we achieve this critical objective of stimulating growth and creating jobs. Yes, yeah, so, uh, which is what I'm talking about now. We're yeah. looking at growth and jobs, yes. but by how much can this move the needle? Well, it can't move it that much. You can see this as just the beginning. You know, gradually we hope that by the time we begin to adjust the CRR, the liquidity ratio, by the time the fiscal authorities also bring something to the table uh, to reduce the investment risk in the environment, that is when we can begin to have uh, any serious impact on, on the economy and on business. All right. Interesting you mentioned the fiscal policy earlier because I want to also talk a little around the budget as well. Yeah. When you look at the 2019 budget, we heard the, the, the finance minister already giving some direction on how they plan to you know, finance the budget, you know, looking at borrowing in there. When you look at borrowing, though, from the, from, from the government end of things, especially for the domestic side of things, let's focus on domestic first. You know, how do you think this will play out going forward into the 2019 budget? Well, uh, this has already been uh, spread out in the, in the MTF, in the uh, uh, Medium Term Expenditure Framework, uh, the structure of financing of the budget. There is the uh, domestic financing component, there is the foreign uh, financing component in terms of borrowing. Mm. And typically, how that if affects the economy first, it has the effect on the cost of servicing the debt, which creates a lot of opportunity cost for the economy, because in the current budget, for instance, we are mm. talking about over two trillion naira to service the budget. I but mean, to service the debt. But now we're looking you know? like a, at a spread of not 50 50. That's what, according to what she said, though, for 50% for, for domestic. That is and what it is. Yeah. It was even that framework that led to what is in the budget of 50 50. Because they talk about rebalancing of the debt porf yeah, portfolio. portfolio. Yeah, that, it is that framework that has even produced the two trillion naira for debt service that is in the budget. So okay. we still have serious issues with. Uh, with domestic borrowing, the implications for the crowding out effect of the private sector, the implication for the huge cost of debt services. I mean, over the past few months, you have seen a, a number of special bills that have been rolled out, federal government bonds. Mm. And these things are not cheap in terms of cost of servicing those things. So there has not been any serious uh, transformation or, or transition mm. in the character of debt and debt burden. Uh, given what has happened in the last couple, last okay. couple of months. All right, then. Thank you so much for your contribution today. Really appreciate it.